Hey guys, so uh, Jeremy asked me to kind of create an idea for the data mapping uh, updates. So uh, this is just one idea that I have. I have others, but this is the one I was able to um, kind of show on the, this presentation. So basically, <clears throat> this is what we currently have. Uh, just an example of a task. The same can be for like sub processes and and um, other things. Um, I in the property section we have currently uh, assignments data input set and data output set. I would remove those because uh, they're no longer necessary really to to have there. Or we can just leave one parameter that um, if we want to. Um, I would actually use the um, shape menu <coughs> in order to add a new. This is just a sample icon for users that can click on to launch, uh, I guess, the data mapping editor. Um, instead of using these properties, you know, um, but it, anyways, I think that's that would be the best idea to have. Because it's right there, we don't really have to deal with opening and closing the properties panel like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's right there when user selects uh, the particular shape. So when the user clicks on it, um, I would, uh, this is kind of the idea that I have, I would have two different separate, um, how do you call them, options for users. Uh, one is the graphical and one is like a tabular uh, table display uh, to do this. And uh, basically, let's say we, we selected the user task here, so we would have um, a little box with with the name of the task on, on top and some sort of separation between uh, inputs and outputs uh, this is one way for example where you can separate them into um, maybe they can be also collapsible that will be better I just didn't have a icon for that but uh, they can be collapsed for example for more room uh, when you expand them <coughs> you should be able to to see all the defined ones so for example uh, let's say this task already has a my input A defined. Uh, you should be able to click on this icon or uh, next to it to edit this. Um, either to change the type or the name. So maybe when you click on this, it, it pulls up a little bit of a, a little bit of panel that says, "Okay, here's the current type. Would you like to change it? Um, or what do you want to do with that? Do you want to remove it? Whatever. Um, same thing. Now." Uh, on the inputs here, the defined ones, the user should be always have a little plus icon or some icon that, that, that says, okay, I would like to add a new one. Uh, and I think really what's, what would be most useful uh, for users is what we currently don't have is the ability to copy from tasks. So for example, I already have one task or user task defined with 10 inputs. Um, I should be able no, not have to redefine it, add, 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 10 of them again and select the type or whatever once they're added from here. I should be able to just say copy and this copy brings up a little menu that says, okay, uh, here are the current defined tasks that you have in the process, the business process, select one, boom, it copies those over. Same thing for outputs. The only th other thing I wanted to show is that um, the outputs um, for example, for text, you you know, here is a generic icon that I just found, but we can have specific icons for each type. For example, if it's just a string, we can have like an ABC or something icon like that. And same thing for outputs, which is um, uh, to add output, add a new one, or uh, copy a bunch of them from an existing task that we already defined in the process. Um, this little section right here, think of it that I, I didn't have room for this, but it can be a separate panel on the right side. For example, like what, what this is, what this whole thing could be on the right side or underneath or above. I, it's irrelevant. But basically, uh, I was thinking of a, a one place, one stop where users can see all the process data. Um, and only that, like we should kind of go beyond that, maybe not in the first version, but maybe in the later versions. For example, if some other process is embedding our business process that we're currently using, but that it can contain also some process data that we could use or utilize. 
uh, things like that. Or if you're dealing uh, with uh, a task is inside a sub-process. Um, so, for example, we, we, we deal with parents. So the parent could be a sub-process. And they'd also define some process variables. So they should all be all, all be defined here. So parent A or, or even nested, you know, uh, parent A and parent B or whatever. So this is one place where we can display in some sort of uh, hierarch hierarchical menu that's expandable uh, all the data possible that we can even deal with. Um, so that's kind of like that idea now. And, and there should be a drag and drop, and I'll come to that in a second. So, <clears throat> in order to add a mapping, uh, when you add an input or existing input, there should always be uh, uh, some sort of arrow, and, and this seems like a, a simple text input box. However, it, it, we can actually create fairly dynamic drop downs slash text input boxes with that. And I think this is fairly nice because um, one option to define a mapping is to take an existing uh, process data and drag it onto this drop-down. All right, so that would be one option where we uh, can just drag and drop it into here. Another option in the drop-down, you can actually create a thing with the HT, uh, HTML5. You can create little background images, or have a background on it that's also clickable, and we could create uh, two little icons. One for, okay, boom, here, I click on this thing. It shows me all the different types of uh, data that I can choose. Here we can apply also the type filtering that we talked about, where we look up what type is my input A, and in the drop-down here menu, show all the different, uh, for example, process variables that are of that type. Or if we just want to assign a static uh, string to that, we can just click on ABC and, and, and we, we can type it in. Same thing on the other side uh, for the, uh, the, the, the data outputs. Uh, I think with this, we kind of have it covered. It has a separation of what's what, number one. So the user is looking at this particular middle piece has straight up front an idea of what, what they're dealing with. I really think, I mean, that this copy from task or a bulk copy or a bulk uh, import of inputs and outputs is key uh, because I think the biggest problem right now that we have for larger processes of even customers I've, I've seen complain is having to do stuff over and over again adding one input or output at a time um, so uh, it, it does a lot it also has a view of everything that's available and if we can make these input text boxes drop downs uh, fairly dynamic and and and, and uh, smart. Um, I think that this idea could actually fairly work. Now, if the users do not want this particular graphical or they don't choose not to, should be also a tabular design. I don't know if in the first version or second version or whichever way we choose to do this. Um, I was thinking of that. Uh, this can be revised. I didn't put too much time, but basically this should be fairly simple and similar to what we have right now. Uh, there should still be an uh, option to add input and output, and there should be also um, this option here. I apologize, I didn't put it in. So, so there should be a way to copy here as well from existing uh, tasks uh, or whatever. Now, the mapping direction I chose, you know, just to show arrows, there should be some indication. It is hard in a, ta in a table format to show the direction since you have your inputs and outputs. Kind of want them always on the left because that's the first thing that the user sees. So I chose the similar arrows, uh, like here, to show direction of the mapping. Uh, here, these things. Uh, each entry here should be actually very similar to this. So we might as well, for example, I'll delete this thing and drop it. So it should be very similar to what we had before, either a drop down, uh, a text or a drop down, or each of the uh, columns here can be smart enough to handle that as well where for example we can just drag and drop it in here 
or have an option to uh, to uh, define it ourselves. And again, uh, we should be able to click on these icons, change the type, so the user has um, all the ability to manipulate the types, the 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 the, the variable names, and and to add and delete them, all within this page itself without having to deal with going back to the process variables, add and remove there, and then come back here. Um, so yeah, this is just one idea that I have. Um, when I have time, I'll create. I have one more idea specifically for the graphical one that I, that I will uh, kind of try to draw and then get back to you guys as soon as possible. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye.